If you go through my vlog titles, you can see that there's a pattern of, I have a title and then a subtitle. This one's no exception. Usually when I'm trying to come up with content, what I settle on is the intersection between two separate ideas. I'm exploring how I come up with content by way of explaining how I come up with ideas for this vlog. For me, how it works is I always come up with a first concept, an idea, and it's something that I can express in a single sentence. But it's never just about that single sentence. It's never just about that idea. It's always about what that idea makes me think about. So in the case of this vlog, I wanted to talk about how I come up with vlog content, which then led me to, well, how does my mind work? Those are two separate things, even though they definitely intersect when it comes to creating something like a vlog or if I'm writing or any type of artistic or progressive or productive endeavor that I might engage in. How my mind works and how I come up with content sound like they might be the same thing, but they're quite different, even though they both net me the desired result that I'm hoping for. When you do a lot of self-reflection, self-exploration, journaling, mindfulness practice, meditation practices, when you compete in a lot of sports, you come to know yourself quite well. Once you know how to define yourself as far as your identity, your character, you can also tap into the things that make you who you are. To that end, I know that I'm not a person that suffers from something like writer's block. I'm not a person that struggles with creativity in that respect. But I do struggle with procrastination. Most of the time, that procrastination comes from a place of knowing that I already have the idea or the concept, and I probably have the counter idea or the intersecting idea or concept that's going to go with it. I tend to procrastinate because I know that I can get whatever I need to get done under the deadline, even though that's not the best way to do it. Bumping up against deadlines is never what I would consider a best practice. It's a good skill to have just in case life gets in the way of accomplishing whatever those desired outcomes are, but as a best practice itself, it's not the best. So I think when I'm discussing how my mind works and how I come up with content for this vlog, well, I think it's important that I disclose the idea that I suffer from a bit of procrastination. And it's not a procrastination that comes from not having an idea or a sense of what to do. It's a type of procrastination that comes from realizing that I have all manner of ideas and all sorts of content. I just don't like deadlines. And this is going to be a different kind of vlog today because I don't actually have any life advice for you. I'm kind of just reflecting on the schedule that I've chosen for myself, how I come up with ideas, when people talk to me about things like writer's block or kind of emptying out their creative well, what are the best ways to kind of get back on track. I think lots of experts have spoke on that topic before and I don't know that I have anything new or interesting to add to the conversation. I do though know myself and to that end if you were going to take anything from this it would be that you have to know yourself as well. If you don't have a clear definition of who you are and what you represent it's very easy to get caught in traps like writer's block. Get a sense of who you are and once you have that you'll have a sense about what kind of art you're trying to create. So much traffic. <laughs>